Starting five for Utah. They've only had three starting lineups all season, but this is the 23rd for the next. It's how hard it is to be James Harden or Kyrie Irving or Kevin Durant and consistently score against the best defenses in the league as tonight. He misturned a little bit. Tyler Johnson who's given Steve Nash some nice minutes. Shot won't go. Rebound. Put back Bruce Brown. Absolutely one of the candidates for coach of the year. Might even be the front runner. He has done an amazing job of this team. And there's the steal. Conley gets inside and able to score most in terms of just the overall picture about what they bring every night. Well, to me, as Brown gets another offensive rebound, I love that ever since the bubble, they've really exploited how to get more and better three-point shots. What do you think missing a free throw does for your confidence, Mike? <laughs> Shatters it. <laughs> Conley gets inside. Nice. Conley, even though he's left-handed, usually finishes with his right. That type of time, a little running left-hand hook. And no hesitation. Shot clock down to five. Mitchell has Jeff Green one on one out on the perimeter. Step back, fires up the three pointer. That's good. Not of a. Luavo Cabarro drives. Can't finish, but Jordan on the tip in. Mitchell guarded by Bruce Brown. Using the screen, elbow jump shot. And <laughs> everything going down with this all the time. Today's NBA. There really is no lead that's safe. No, and I think as Ingles hits a corner three, Winchell, this, a 14-point first-half lead is like six a decade ago. The Wawa Cup, last two months he has been playing the best basketball of his career. Let's turn it over. Royce O'Neal with an easy two. Make plays off the dribble to help his teammates, and I think he keeps improving in that area. Three-pointer down the other end after Ingles. Ingles fakes. Jordan Clarkson has come in for the first time. Another of the three-point marksman. Niang. That's a three. Hey, so many rumors going around. Various players. Of course, we'll have it covered. Niang. With Woj. Niang knocks down a big three. Even James Harden out tonight. And the Nets having a struggle. Inside, nice pass. Chioza blocked by Gobert. Jazz. Chris Chioza gets inside. Throws it back out. Claxton tries a three. That's good. Claxton. And a nice save from Johnson. Jeff Green gets in. His floater is up and good. Now tipped and taken by Angles. Jazz by 16. And Chioza comes up with a steal. And after that rough start, the Nets have kind of regained. Chioza, nice little crossover. Gets inside. Throws it back up top. Good ball movement for Brooklyn. Tyler Johnson, the floater is good. The roster being depleted with COVID got a chance to play in the bubble. They signed him in June. He played in the bubble and played well for them. Mitchell, that's a three. This night, 116, 112, and did it with their defense in the fourth quarter. Held Portland to 21. Well, they are shorthanded tonight. Nice tough game last night. The job Terry Stott, Damian Lillard have done. 20. Those calf injuries are nothing to try to rush back. They can be problematic. Steve Nash loves the professionalism he brings, the versatility he brings. He's had some big games for them, big impact games as Bogdanovich lines it up, and that's a three. Bogdanovich. We had them a couple games ago. They had seven guys at that point. I believe over 40% as Bogdanovich gets one in the NBA in three-point percentage. Bad pass and a steal. Royce O'Neal goes down the other end. Crazy how many games they're playing in such a limited time. So this is going to probably be the norm. And they reset to 14. Tyler Johnson short. Alizé Johnson the rebound flips it up and that's good. You know the stars may be out. They may be getting blown out, but people are watching. Net front office and other front offices as Tyler John. Oh, Gobert went one way, the pass went the other way. And Chioza runs down the floor, lays it up and in. Seven points for Chioza. 21 point game, final minute, second quarter. Conley to the rim. Gobert, offensive rebound and put back. Possible trade that's being mentioned.
Got clock tuned off. Mitchell the drive and Mitchell the surge. Clacks the misses, but then deflects Gobert's outlet pass blocked by Gobert. Spread the ball around. They're going to have to move it, and then they're going to have to shoot the three well. And he's one of the guys that's going to have to knock it down like that one. It's a 10 possession game, Mike. Mike <laughs> Donovan from outside. Yeah. Wobble Cabarroa. There's a lot of dribbling and able to finish. Johnson blocked by Gobert. That's his third rejection. He had nine in his last game, which was tied his career high as Donovan. We need something. Claxon slow to get up. Mitchell for three. That's good. Donovan trades, Jeff. And this time, as Alizé Johnson gets it inside, throws Bruce Brown, and his shot is up and good. Because either they don't like the situation, they're not getting playing time, and they are looking forward to hearing that they've been dealt. And the Jazz, okay, but in the future. Mitchell, one-on-one, -on -one, little fake. Johnson does a good job getting away, and Mitchell still. Fall and, and the floodgates open, you know, for a lot of deals elsewhere. Do you expect a lot of activity that they'll go through with? I, I do expect a lot of activity. I don't know how impactful uh, a lot of it may be to the standings. You know, certainly, uh, and listen, five tomorrow, still obviously a, a very good player. And, and remember this, too. Lowry's going to have a voice in where he goes. The perennial playoff team to helping them win a championship. Uh, they're not going to send him somewhere. He, their team around the edges for a team that uh, very likely is going to be in the playoffs and has shown uh, just it's a remarkable improvement this year. Well, the largest lead has been 38. The Nets have never led. In the second game is Connolly counted. You always talked about how maybe the hardest player, the coach, was a declining superstar. Yeah, particularly on their... You, like, you learn so much. Not information from my vantage point, but just... How they go about coaching their team. That's the old Eric Spolstra. Keep the main thing the main thing. I like that line. Niang. Is out. Playing at altitude in a back to back against a dominant team who's just at. Yeah, Oni's also been out there for Utah for a while. Ball deflected and picked up by the Brooklyn. Clarkson's, having a, Clarkson's having a rough night tonight. It's one for 15 from the field. This year's sixth man of the year. In, I mean, unless something wild happens in the second half, he's clearly the leading winner, and it's the 13th time this season they've done that. That's a pretty big number. And Niang with five. Right. Here in Salt Lake City. Luavo Cabarro misses. Johnson gets another rebound, flips it back up and ahead. Right, they have another rebound. He's got 18 points, 15 rebounds, and three assists in his first game with the Nets after signing it. For sure is rebounding. Rebounders rebound. And I've never forgot that. If you have a nose for the ball, you will find a way to secure it. And that's what this kid is doing. This is just his 32nd NBA game in his third season in the league. That's eight games. Oni with the three-pointer, his first field goal of the night. He has 21 of 51. As Try to do uh, something to limit the three-point shots, or or you find as a, oh yeah. Their skill level is off the charts, and many of them can. But there are nights when you watch, and it's just three-pointer after three-pointer. Yeah, they sure are. You saw that note on Johnson. Well, it's pretty good company. The great Buck Williams, who you coached when he had his time with the Knicks. You're right about Buck Williams. Fierce competitor, great rebounder, great defender.